Hey, hello and welcome. I'm Ricky. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is not going to be a music reaction. It's just going to be me doing two things. First, I want to uh, enlighten you a bit about what happens when I live stream. I don't play in the video games. I do live reactions together with the coolest people on this planet. We have so much fun together doing this. Uh, it's never limited to anything. We just enjoy ourselves. It's once a month, and I start 10 p.m. GMT plus 2. I'm going to try to uh, find the exact time for you guys. I think you guys have, most of you guys have EST. Some don't. But do the math and don't miss out. Of course, all the suggestions that you make, you do it in the comment section for this video. So when I start live, I can check here. Don't miss out on that one. Just a heads up. People that is awesome people, such as channel members, Patreons, and PayPal donators, they have a tendency to jump up in line. And of course, if you suggest someone really famous, there's definitely going to be a copyright filter over it because it's going to get blocked if I don't. The second thing we're going to do, if I'm not forgetting anything, the second thing we're going to do, we're going to watch uh, a speech. And I do love speeches. Martin Luther King did a fantastic one. I think Barack Obama did a superb speech as well. And many, many more. This speech is from the Cold War, and it's Ronald Reagan and his patriotic speech. It's just three and a half minutes. I, I, think we can, I think we can just jam it in here. Thank you. Thank you. We can do that. Let's do this. I have no clue what this speech is about. I was very young when this happened. If we look to the answer as to why for so many years we achieved so much, prospered as no other people on Earth, it was because here in this land, we unleashed the energy and individual genius of man to a greater extent than has ever been done before. Freedom and the dignity of the individual have been more available and assured here than in any other place on earth. The price for this freedom at times has been high, but we have never been unwilling to pay that price. Those who say that we're in a time when there are no heroes, they just don't know where to look. The sloping hills of Arlington National Cemetery with its row upon row of simple white markers, bearing crosses or stars of David, they add up to only a tiny fraction of the price that has been paid for our freedom. Each one of those markers is a monument to the kind of hero I spoke of earlier. Their lives ended in places called Bellow Wood, the Argonne, Omaha Beach, Salerno, and halfway around the world on Guadalcanal, Tarawa, Porkchop Hill, the Chosin Reservoir, and in a hundred rice paddies and jungles of a place called Vietnam. Under one such marker lies a young man Martin Treptow, who left his job in a small town barber shop in 1917 to go to France with the famed Rainbow Division. There on the Western Front, he was killed trying to carry a message between battalions under heavy artillery fire. We're told that on his body was found a diary. On the flyleaf, under the heading, My Pledge, he had written these words. America must win this war. Therefore, I will work, I will save, I will sacrifice, I will endure. I will fight cheerfully and do my utmost as if the issue of the whole struggle depended on me alone. We must realize that no arsenal or no weapon in the arsenals of the world is so formidable as the will and moral courage 
of free men and women. It is a weapon our adversaries in today's world do not have. It is a weapon that we as Americans do have. Let that be understood by those who practice terrorism and prey upon their neighbors. As for the enemies of freedom, those who are potential adversaries, they will be reminded that peace is the highest aspiration of the American people. We will negotiate for it, sacrifice for it. We will not surrender for it now or ever. We are Americans. Yeah, that was definitely, without a doubt, one of the best speeches I ever heard. It really got to me. Holy crap, that was a good one. Thank you so much for the. I think it was Blake. Blake, thank you so much for the suggestion. It was awesome. I love a good speech. I feel em empowered by it. I really want to go to work tomorrow just because of that speech. <clears throat> Ronald Reagan, I know nothing about him. Why? Because I'm a Swede. That's basically it. And I have cats running around me having a really fun time. I love cats. I have three of them. Thank you so much. Smack the like, of course, and don't forget to hit subscribe. And don't miss out on the live stream. It's on the 23rd, this Saturday, at 10 p.m. GMT plus 2, Sweden time. Thank you for watching, and stay safe.